Former Badger tight end and New York Giants player Travis Breckham joins us now to discuss the player's perspective of this tragic event. Travis, thanks for coming in today. Good to see you, Travis. I appreciate it. Good to see you guys as well. As a player, you know there's going to be injuries. Yeah. I mean, that's part of the game. And guys get beat up all the time, yep. banged up, but nothing like this. Yeah, this is, um, this is something that, unfortunately, um, us uh, as, as players um, know that there's a risk for that to happen. Um, and you just, when it does, it's, it's kind of one of those things where it's like you sign up for it, but don't really think that it's going to happen. Um, and it's a very tragic situation that we're dealing with now. Um, uh, a young man that uh, is going out there trying to uh, make a living for himself. Um, I, I would assume that this is his dream job, uh, just trying to live his dream and, and um, unfortunate circumstances um, have him in a predicament where uh, we don't know what, what's going to happen next. There are a lot of kitchen table conversations going on around the country today about the game yeah. and about whether there should be more focus and scrutiny on player safety. There's been a lot of focus on brain injuries, of course, but not necessarily on tackles like this yeah it, it um, I mean if you listen to, to some of the, the doctors speak um, it's just kind of one of those situations where it was like it was the wrong hit at the wrong time um, there is a lot of stuff going on as far as CTE um, I ended up uh, losing one of uh, my friends that played on the New York Giants Super Bowl team with me um, to CTE um, but to see guys um, I mean I think the NFL does a good job in regards to um, your, your physical and, and, and checking the status of your heart, um, EKGs, but for, for this situation to happen to a player on, on national television, uh, there's families watching, um, is, is, is extremely devastating. This is, this is something that um, I have never seen before, um, and I'm sure uh, it was an easy decision for the guys that uh, were playing that football game to not want to play um, anymore. But there was a lot of criticism yeah. uh, that for the NFL, especially online, from people who were watching and don't necessarily understand how this works. Having been in the NFL yourself, what are some of the factors the league has to consider before yeah. postponing a game like this? Yeah, I think the NFL PA does a great job in, in regards to player safety. Those are um, they're great advocates for um, the current players and former players. Um, but uh, the NFL, um, they do have a job. Um, and at that time, um, it seemed as if uh, there's almost like a five minute rule to where teams can um, kind of debrief and figure out what happens next. But um, I don't think that uh, any person uh, in the right state of mind uh, should have thought that they should have continued that game. Um, there are a lot of people that paid um, tickets, paid money to go to those games. There could be uh, people that have traveled across the world to go to a football game like that, but that all becomes irrelevant um, when you have someone's life on the line. Not, not, just, not just an injury. You see these people uh, get carted off um, for, or for injuries, and they, they put the thumbs up, and that's, that's something that you love to see. But this man, they, they had to do CPR. Yeah. His heart His stopped. Heart so yeah. this is this is this is a whole different ball game. This is this is extremely unfortunate, um, and I and I hope the NFL takes this um, with extreme consideration um, because stuff like this can't happen. A player's life much more important than a game. Absolutely, Travis. Thanks for Travis. Thank you so much. Thank you Good to see you. Good to see you as well. Thank you.